Hey guys, this is Eric Wanger with Wanger Racing. As you guys have probably figured out, I haven't posted a lot of videos this week, and the reason why is I have been in California. I visited AFR, SCAT, and Buddy Bar. For those that don't know what Buddy Bar is, Buddy Bar is a foundry, and that's, if you ever see an intake manifold that has a BB on it, that means Buddy Bar, and that's where they were cast. And I got to go out there and do a tour of AFR and SCAT and Buddy Bar too. So I've been there all week, and I'm going to release a different video, probably, hopefully Sunday, if time permits, where I do a walkthrough of all the facility from AFR and SCAT and Buddy Bar itself and uh, talk about how the heads are actually made from them. Um, it should be a really good video because I will say this, AFR held nothing back. If there were anything I asked, they answered. And I asked everything. They were probably the most forthcoming of any business I've ever been around as far as revealing as much stuff, good and bad, um, which most companies don't do that. They will only tell you the good side. I heard both. Um, I will be sharing you with stuff that I can because obviously there's some things they don't want me to share because they have some new products I got to see that it's not quite on the market yet and they don't want to um, go about it, but um, I guess I could hint, but um, there's some really good stuff coming in. But uh, it was nice for them to take, uh, for me to go down there and see that and it was a good experience and same with scat i got to talk with tom lee he is the one that um, founded scat and talked about crankshaft and rods and that was a huge learning experience as well good time so look for that video on sunday and i think it'll be really helpful for a lot of you out there so at least if there was something i would want to see it would probably be that that's the reason why i'm trying to show it to you so uh, look for that in case you're wondering how actually i got down there this is gonna be interesting and this is a crazy story so bear with me as I describe this because you're going to, it sounds made up, but I swear it's not. And a large part of this story seems like it has nothing to do with AFR or SCAT or anybody. Um, so just, just bear with it. Because I think this story is funny and um, I was telling them that and uh, they got a good laugh out of it. So I thought I'd share it with you. So probably about November, this guy had contacted me from off of YouTube and he said he uh, used to work for NASCAR and um, he said, uh, you know, I used to work for NASCAR, and I got this stuff that I don't need anymore, like a CNC machine to port heads. And as you know, that's one of the machines I really need badly. Um, he's like, I got this CNC machine. You know, I used to work for Joe Gibbs Racing, and I want to, I want to give it to you. And I was like, you know, I'm a little skeptical, but I didn't. It's like, sure. And I was like, but why? And he said, Well, you know, I don't need it, and I just want to give you. I want to help you. It sounds like you really moving forward. I was like, oh, sweet, man. This is a great deal, you know? Huge. I'll, I'll gladly take it. And then he's like, "You, I got some other stuff, too. You want to take that, too? I was like, what other stuff do you have? And it was like different parts and different machines. I was like, absolutely. I, I'll take anything you're wanting to get rid of. And he's like, I'll come down there. And it, so he was like, I'll come down Monday. Monday would come. He wouldn't show up. And then it would be an excuse, excuse, excuse. And every week, almost, or every other week, and it'd be the same thing would happen. And so I, I'm not dummy. I mean, I kind of figured out... You know, maybe he's just screwing with me, and that's fine. Um, it was like, whatever. And, but this started in November. About a month later after that, this, this superstore is going to get a little crazier. Uh, a guy from Texas calls me up and says, Hey, can you do some um, R&D for some cylinder heads for me? I was like, sure, because I actually do do that. For instance, those big block Cadillac heads that you saw, that guy is like, Hey, can you do some R&D for me, and I'll pay you. And I said, absolutely. So I, I did that. So this guy calls me up, and he says, Hey, why don't you do some R&D for it uh, for me? And I was like, sure. What heads are they? Well, they're Fords. Well, I'm, he's like, you'll have to get over that. But I do a ton of Fords. Matter of fact, my biggest customer actually is a Ford guy. Um, but anyway, he's like, why don't you do some Fords? Well, what heads are they? They're for NASCAR. Now, I understand as well that um, NASCAR has different divisions. So, like, of course, there's, I think, the Nextel. I don't really watch the NASCAR that much anymore. But um, there's Nextel and there's all these other divisions below it. So I was figuring out maybe something lower one. And he goes, no, it's the, the high-end Nextel one. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, I want you to do R&D for me. I was like, well, who's doing your heads now? He's like, Gates. Gates doing the engines. And so, granted, it sounds like such an amazing thing, but I'm also thinking, why would you have me, I don't have a dyno, working towards it, um, do your cylinder head development when you have Yates? Yates, that's all they do. He goes, well, I want someone to think outside the box. I was like, I, I don't, I'll be happy to do it, but I don't have, a, I, don't, I don't think I have enough of the equipment or some of the other stuff to do it. He goes, whatever you need, you can get. 
I was like, I don't even have a CNC machine. He's like, if you need it, you can get it. And he's like, you just tell me what the price and we'll, we'll get it. We need, we need land to build a bigger thing. Just tell me the price, we'll buy it. So I'm like, man, this is amazing. Because this guy actually sounded kind of legit. In the meantime, the other guy from November is still doing, hey, I'm going to bring you some stuff. And this is going on nonstop. Um, he, he calls like almost every other day. And this guy just called. And I was like, what an opportunity. This is amazing. And then, you know, reality slaps me in the face and is like, you know, it, it really does sound too good to be true. And it probably is. I think I'm being catfished. Um, so anyway, the whole time that's going on, same thing. And I would try to call the guy in Texas to see, you know, hey, when are we going to set up a meeting? Because I said, I want to meet with you face to face. I want to know it. And it wouldn't get a hold, couldn't get a hold of him, couldn't get a hold of him. And then he'd call, like, he actually called on Christmas. Um, my parents were like, because uh, I was at my parents' house. Um, they're like, why are you taking the call on Christmas? It's like, it's a huge opportunity. And then I think my brother was getting the biggest kick out of the thing because he's like, I think he knew you're being catfished or something. So anyway, that's going on. And um, probably right after Christmas, I get a call from this guy and he's working for an um, investment firm. And he says, I want to come to your shop and meet with you. And the investment firm he works for is the one that owns AFR and SCAT and Procar, their seat division. It's like, sure, buddy. Because I didn't think this is another one of this piece of this scam thing or whatever is going on. But he comes to the shop and he's nice enough and he talks and we do have some mutual acquaintances and he sounds legit and what he's really asking for is, do you have any input that would, and it was a legit question. And this is kind of how I got to AFR. Do you have concerns you have with the AFR heads that you think we should be doing better or things we could do better that would make the product better? And so I actually went over stuff and I was like, even if the guy's not real, I'm just going to tell him what's going to hurt. So I told him that, you know, you could do this and this and this, or this I don't like, you should do this, this is the missing in the marketplace, blah, blah, blah. He goes, um, would you like to come and see AFR? And I know AFR is out in California, I'm in Oklahoma. He goes, I'll set it up. And then I'm, so in my mind, I'm thinking, this, great guy, but this isn't happening. This is another one. And before you think this is like total made up, as I'm... As I grind every day, I've got, I listen to books or podcasts and there's this podcast called Chameleon. You can, if you're into podcasts, listen to that one season one, because it's the same type of like catfish thing. They don't get any monetary reward of it just to screw with people. So I'm listening to that and the whole time I'm like, this is not real. Well, finally, um, he gets a hold of the president, uh, um, AFR, um, uh, Sean Sperling is the one that is, and he calls and says, yeah, I'm a what your give me all your information get the airline tickets and i'm like this isn't going to happen anyway this i mean it's great to talk to him but sure you're sure you're sean sperling because i've met you i haven't met him but you get the idea well anyway i get a confirmation yeah i've got flight flights so i tell my wife like I, I guess it's real and so that's where i was this week but i have to say on uh, up until and i left monday up until about sunday when i got the airline confirmation from american airlines i thought it was a scam I thought, man, this guy, this group is really looking really good. And the investment guy, I got to tell you, he was a legit good guy anyway. And I was like, if he's part of this, this thing is amazing. They got to spit a ton of time on it. But anyway, no, it was total, total real. That, that, that AFR thing was total real. The other ones, the NASCAR ones, totally not, but whatever. So uh, it makes for a great story, but it is crazy. So that's why I was at AFR, and that's how I got there. So, and I didn't share it with anybody because the last thing I want to do would be like, hey guys, I'm going to AFR, man. They're going to fly me out there. It's going to be a fantastic time. And then to find out the whole time it wasn't real. <laughs> be like, hey guys, I, it turns out I was catfished again. Uh, they wanted me for my looks and to be on camera. But uh, anyway, so there you go. That's That whole AFR tour and scat tour, hopefully, God willing, will be on Sunday if I can get the video done. But you guys take care.